Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a loom bow. Okay, so you choose your colours, any colours. I just pick random ones because all the ones I've done are all one off, so I try not to do the same. But anyhow, I'm going to show you the best way I can. Get your rainbow loom so your arrow is pointing away from you. Two bands, hook them over the first one, then over the second, and I push them down because I find it's easy when you come to take the hook off. Then two bands again. It's all two bands until I say different. Oh, that's three. Two bands, keep hooking them over. And again, two bands again. So you have one, two, three, four, five. You've got five little hooks with two bands. Now you get a single band, just one. I tend to change color. And you put one over to there to there. One band again from the middle to there. So I always say it looks like a little V. So that's what you're looking like so far. Then you go back to two bands. Just push that one down a bit. Over. Two bands again. They want to go on. Push them down a bit. Two bands again. And the last one's two bands again. So that one you have one, two, three, four, five. Is that right? Yeah, should be right. <laughs> Even I have to check. Okay, so you're going for your middle. Two bands. Up. Two bands again. They want to hook on. Two bands again. Now you want a single band as you go into the middle. And again, as you go into the, come out, a single band, then back to double. You're not going as far as the purple. There you go, so that's what it looks like now. I'll show you this way, I'll just leave it like that for a minute cause, so you can see. Then I think I'm gonna go back to purple. Two bands, just exactly the same. That's the other side. These are tend to stick together. What is this one? Two bands again. And again. Now remember when you come to this part, just give that a little nudge down. Back to a single band across to the middle. And a single band as you come out of it. So now you look like you've got an X. Back to two bands. Two bands. And then your last one, still two bands. And there you have it. Now you want to turn it so it's like this way. Now I'm just going to get a different colour again. You're going to make a triangle all the way down. I'll just show you again, just on them three. So you've got like the triangle. Oops, so Daisy it doesn't want to hook on. Just like you've got the triangle all the way down. So I'll do that and I'll see you in a minute. Once you've got all your triangles on, it should like look like this, but with the last one, the bottom piece here, put it up so it's like that. You're just hooking it over. And then for this one and this one, you want to get another loom band, any color, doesn't really matter and just wrap it over three times, like you're tying it in a knot. I do three times, but you could always do it more. And again. Two. That one doesn't want to work. Two. And three. Push it down. And then you need your little hook. This is mine, but I guess it depends on whatever you've got in your pack. So this is how you're going to start. Oh, this is how <laughs> little Lolly's going to start. Okay, just a second. Okay, so I'm going to try and do it. Hopefully it'll focus in. Will it focus in? Okay, anyway. So you want to go past the one that you've just knotted, past the pink, 
and pick up the bottom two and hook it through, pull it through. Try not to pull the others off, put it over the next one. Pass the pink, bring up the bottom two and put it over the next one. You're gonna do this all the way up to this one here when you come to your cross. Okay, now you've done that, you've just hooked them all the way up. When you come to this one, what you're gonna be doing, you're going to want to pull the bottom purple one. So this one here, so if you look from the side, this is how I do it, it's the bottom one again. So you're going past everything, turn your hook away from you, and just pull up that bottom purple, go round and put it across the middle. And then you're going from this one to here, so you're going for this purple. So I tend to go in from the side, and that's the easiest way to grab it. Pull it round, back over that one. Then your bottom two purples, hook back over and you do the same for these ones up to the top. Okay, now the middle, basic, really easy. All you're doing, hooking them over, going up the middle. Try not to take any of the others off. Do this all the way up to this section here. Okay, now you're going up to your single part where this cross was here, you're gonna get the single yellow, pull it over, go to here and the same, all the way up to the top. Okay, so now I've done all the yellows, all the way up to the top. Oh, that one's coming up a bit. There we go. Now you're onto this section and you're going to just pull the bottom purples all the way up. When you get to this one, you're gonna pull the, pull the single pink from this side to here and the pink from there to there, then the purples all the way up to the top. Oh, here we go, try and do it. You know, can't do it and film, see you in a second. Hold all the purple up, I've come to this one now and you're just grabbing the single pink and bringing it over to the middle. So, the single pink, which was the bottom one, pulling it out, crossing it over to the middle, then tip it to the side, find which one you need. So this is the bottom pink one for me. Let's see if you can get it without pulling out any of the others off. Because I've done that, and it's rather annoying. And pull it over, then just do the same to here to here. Pull all the purple up, which it is the bottom ones. And then you come into the finish, go over to your first row, cross it over to the middle. Oh no, we're gonna lose one. Pull this one over as well. Oops, a daisy. That's what it should look like at the finish, like that. So this is what it should look like when it's finished. And now when you're at this point, you want to turn it to its side and get an extra loom band because you're going to fasten it on here. So choose any colour that you like. I think I'll just go with yellow. And what you're going to do is put your hook down all the way through. You want to hook all the loom bands that you can push through. going to hook your loom band on and basically just pull it through. Try not to pull any other loom bands through. Push it on and hook that one. Pull it over the top and pull it as tight as you can. Then put your hook back through the same top hole. Push it all the way out and then this is when you're pulling off now. does look like it's broken, but it's not, trust me. There we go. And there you have the part of your bow. Now that part, all you can do with it is just make it part of the pattern. So I tend to pull it through all different ways. And if it comes out, you can always put one of the clips on it. But if you do it... So just keep... Just push that all the way through, make it part of the pattern. It 
doesn't want to come off now and I'll just give it another little pull through that one there and I'll do it on that one and then this is where you want to get a clip and three more bands of oh, all yellows you don't have to use your loom because I've done it both ways using it and not using it but I guess it depends on what clips you have because I've had S clips and I've also had them style of clips these I find a bit more difficult to use but get your three chosen bands on and hook your clip on however you do it because I think everybody has different ways and pull it so the clips at the side there decide which way you want your loom which way you want it to be up I think I'll choose that way place it down you're going to want to bring your three looms over the side. Three looms, three bands. Put them onto the other hook because you're going to want to get them in the clip now. You could use your hook, but I think it's a bit fiddly. Because look, see, ta-da, already done. And there you have it. And there you have your loom bow. Now all I do when I make them into a clip, I put the Kirby grip through that side and then it goes in the hair like this. If you want to make it into a bobble, before you put the S clip on, put the bobble in and wrap the bands over the top of the bobble, then you have a loom bobble. But there you have it, a little tinker bean bobble. No, a little tinker bean loom bow. Ta-da! <laughs>